Verify doors A, B, and C are closed and locked. Also make sure the flap on door C is closed so no ballots can be inserted in the emergency ballot bin. Unlock flap D using the key without the colored ring and drop it down. Remove the large metal cover on top of the scanner by pulling and lifting it from the front. Lift the key access panel E and insert the key with the colored ring. Turn it to open and close poles. This will load the operating system, which takes about two minutes. Meanwhile, the ballot scanner will print out the initial state report. You will now see this display. Carefully turn the key with the colored ring to the vote position. The machine will beep until you take this step. Then carefully pull the key straight up and out of the lock, leaving the lock in the vote position. The status report, zero totals report, and certification with signature lines will now print. While these reports are printing, you will hear the diverter inside the ballot box doing a test. All PEOs need to sign the zero totals tape on the lines printed at its end. Cut diagonally through the signatures and then attach the zero tape to the wall. Fold the remaining portion of the printout tape and tuck it inside flap E of the M100 and close flap E. Return the keys to the Ziploc bag and the small blue supply bag. The ballot scanner is now ready for ballots to be inserted and the display will show the message below. The M100 is now ready for voting.